every day when you open social media, doctors will preach, please use sunscreen because UV rays damage your skin. Now, if UV ray is so damaging to our skin, then why are we always constantly exposed to UV rays? Now, in this video, I'll be sharing with you five benefits of UV rays on your skin. But before we continue with the video, guys, please click the subscribe button because it helps push educational videos like this to people like you and your friends. And that helps make the channel grow. And the channel grows, we can actually feature more videos. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor and welcome to Skin Fix, the platform whereby we educate you everything regarding skin and skincare. Now, every day, our Earth is bombarded by UV rays from the sun. There's UVA, UVB, UVC. Now, however, in previous videos, we've talked about the damaging effects of UV rays on your skin. But if UV rays are so bad, why are we still constantly bombarded by UV rays? Shouldn't we be living in a UV uh, protection bubble. That's because UV rays actually have a lot of benefits for your skin as well. Now, today we'll be talking primarily about UVA and UVB. It's because UVC is filtered out by the ozone layer. Now, we will not go into detail of UVA and UVB because we have done it in previous videos and I'm sure there's a lot of other videos on the internet which describes the UV rays. Now, in this video, I'll be sharing with you five positive effects of UV rays on your skin. In fact, number one, UV rays stimulate vitamin production in your skin. Vitamin D is essential for your bone health, your skeleton, your muscles, and at the same time, your internal gut. So we actually get vitamin D3 from a lot of different sources. We can get it from fish, we can get it from red meat, but most of your vitamin D actually comes from the sun. Now, however, the sun itself does not give you vitamin D. The sun itself provides only UV rays. So what happens when UVB, a very specific spectrum of the UV radiation, when UVB hits your skin, it stimulates a particular cascade of, of chemical changes. So what it does, it stimulates 7 dehydrocholesterol to start producing or change into vitamin D3. And then the vitamin D3 is then um, spread out to your entire body, into your skeleton, and into your gut health as well. So vitamin D3 is important for your overall well-being. So how much UV rays should you be exposed to on a daily basis to get sufficient vitamin D. An adult human only requires roughly 600 international units of vitamin D3 per day. However, if you're exposed to sun for 30 minutes to even 60 minutes per day, you get up to 10,000 international units of vitamin D3 on a daily basis. That means you only need very minute exposure to sunlight on a daily basis to get your vitamin D3 um, intake. Now, what happens then if you apply sunscreen on your on your skin. Yes, it does filter out most of the UV rays. Now, applying sunscreen on your skin does not mean that zero UV rays get into your skin. Example, if it's an SPF 50, roughly about 1% to 2% of all UV rays get, actually get into your skin. And that itself is sufficient for your vitamin D3 production. So the first benefit of UV rays on your skin, it helps with the vitamin D production. Second benefit of UV rays on your skin, it helps reduce psoriasis. Psoriasis is a skin disease characterized by overgrowth of the epidermal layer of your skin. Now, in times of very severe psoriasis, in hospitals, we bombard your skin with UVB radiation. Now, what the UVB does is it actually reduces the growth of the cells that are responsible for psoriasis. So if you have psoriasis or you have some sort of, of psoriatic um, skin lesions, you should actually expose your, your, your skin to the sun without any protection for at least one to two hours on a daily basis. The third positive effect of UV rays on your skin, it reduces atopic dermatitis. Atopic dermatitis is a form of skin allergy. When your skin is exposed to something that you're allergic to, you know, it actually gets itchy all over. And a chronic atopic dermatitis is then called eczema. So what UVA and UVB does is it reduces the inflammation which is actually the underlying cause of atopic dermatitis. Now, constant exposure to UV rays will actually thicken up the top layer of your epidermis, which is the stratum corneum, which will then help with the skin barrier because eczema is an issue with 
thin skin barrier. And UV rays also act as a form of sterilization. It kills the bacteria which causes infection in atopic dermatitis. Now the fourth positive effect of UV rays on your skin is it helps with vitiligo. Vitiligo is a skin disease whereby there's depigmentation of your skin. It means that the, the amount of pigment in your skin actually reduces. Hey guys, I know that this video is about the positive effects of UV radiation on your skin, but let me know what sunscreen that you're using. Let me know in the comments below. The underlying cause of vitiligo is autoimmune. That means that someone suffering from vitiligo, their immune system is actually attacking the cells producing melanin or colors. Hence, you actually get depigmentation. Now, when exposed to UVB, two things actually happen. One, the amount of melanocytes being generated inside your cells are then pushed up from the dermis to the epidermis and it helps with repigmentation. And secondly, UVB actually has an immunosuppressive mechanism. Remember earlier we mentioned that vitiligo is actually caused by an autoimmune issue, your immune system attacking your cells. So the UVB actually reduces the amount of immune system or the, or the cells attacking your color cells. So in hospitals, someone with very severe vitiligo, we generally expose them to high dose of UVB radiation for 15 minutes to an hour, roughly one to two times a week. Now the fifth positive effect of UV rays is not on your skin, but on your mental health. UV rays have been shown to be a mood elevator and it helps reduce depression. Remember in point one, UV rays um, produces vitamin D in your skin. Now vitamin D is a very important step in serotonin production and serotonin is actually your happy hormones. So reduction of vitamin D means reduction of serotonin. That means that your mood is then depressed. Now people with chronic depression or clinical depression, what happens is their brain is unable to produce serotonin in large amounts. And it's also noted in places which have prolonged winters. Generally during the winter period when people are not exposed to long periods of sunlight, the amount of depression actually goes up. Now currently there are plenty of studies which shows that prolonged UV exposure to UVB actually helps mood elevation and at the same time helps reduce depression. So if you're depressed or you're, you're feeling down, Take a nice holiday, go to the beach, and expose yourself to a lot of UV radiation. Now, before we end the video, there's a side note. Even though the, this video promotes exposure of your skin to UV rays, please make sure that you actually wear sun protection because all we're talking about is UV radiation exposure in moderation. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Let me know in the comments below what are the positive effects of UV radiation on your skin, on your bone, or even on your, on your well-being. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and forward this video to your family and friends. And always remember to turn on the bell button because we release new videos on a weekly basis. Now, that's it from me. I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed. Are you tired of wasting time and money on your skin, but nothing works? We are here to help. SkinFix is a platform that provides personal care education completely free. SkinFix is run by skin doctors and skincare experts. You can chat and consult with our skin doctors without ever leaving your home. Other than free advice, SkinFix also provides tailor-made solutions for your skin problem with customized medical-grade skincare delivered right to your doorstep. SkinFix, your digital skin doctor.